Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Well, we come from a very interesting um, week, yeah, now heading into the weekend. Um, a really interesting week and we see a lot of um, price action that can be considered bullish on various crypto charts, yeah, with um, probably Ethereum and Matic being some of the most bullish higher market cap cryptos. Bitcoin, yes, as well, but, but Bitcoin is, um, the, the chart looks a little bit more messy than, for example, Ethereum, because there are still or there are a lot of bears selling into these rallies. That is why it looks quite choppy here. Um, because if this is really the beginning of an uptrend, then there are still, um, especially after such a long downtrend, there's still a lot of bears who don't believe that this bear, uh, this rally is real. Um, I mean, we have a we have a rally, and the, the question is still how sustainable is it? Yeah, you know, I can't tell you. I don't have the crystal ball, but I believe that we can build more and more the case that the substantial low was in on the 18th of June. Bear in mind, it's not my primary expectation yet, but as time develops and as we see more impulses forming and as prices are going higher and as the price is creating more and more distance between the, well, the current price and the low from the 18th of June, the better and the more resistance levels we take out, yeah, the more impulses we see the more we can make a case for the low has been in. Now, I mentioned on Twitter um, here on the 18th of June, that was actually exactly the low, that we are close to the low and due the biggest rally since the all-time high. The only question is if it will be a corrective rally or an impulsive one that can lead to new all-time highs. So bear in mind, if you, if, you, if you don't follow us on Twitter, there's lots of content on here that you won't find anywhere else um, on more crypto online. So it's only on Twitter and Instagram. Um, some funny stuff, some stuff to learn as well. And however, this was exactly when we made the low that I posted that. And since then we have reversed and we've actually made here on the Bitcoin chart round about from the low here, 20, 25%. Um, it was actually 27, 28, which is not bad, yeah, for Bitcoin especially. We've had some other altcoins that made 100% and even uh, I analyzed the cryptocurrency a few days ago that made 300%. Um, so it is quite a bit of a rally and um, the question is only now how sustainable is it? But as I said, the more time passes and we are heading in the right direction, the more we can make a case for it. So I think we should seriously consider the case that the low has been in. Again, it's not my primary expectation yet. There are certain key levels that need to be broken. And there will probably not be the level where we can say there is no risk anymore for lower levels. I mean, that might only come when we reach um, and when we go above 40K or 45 or 48K or something. Yeah? So in that region. However, if we pass certain levels, it will get less likely. For example, here the 23.3K level, here the 50 day moving average. And by the way, what I completely missed out, even though I talked about it quite a lot um, in the recent um, in recent videos, <clears throat> sorry, is the um, 200 week moving average. So let's just add that. The, the 200 week um, moving average is a highly relevant indicator for Bitcoin. Um, I explained it many times before, so we can just add it on the chart. Um, 200 week, because this is providing resistance exactly now. This blue line, or I can make it white, might be a little bit easier to see. So this is a highly relevant resistance area, yeah. At currently at 22.5k. So we have a lot to go through, yeah. We've got here the 200-week moving average that historically Bitcoin only very, 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 very um, in very, very short uh, time frames broke below and then recovered quite quickly. Now we are still below that. This will be an interesting one to get through. Then we've got the 23.3k area, uh, and then we've got the 50-day moving average. So all of that is lying ahead of us, and each of these levels will make it more likely that the low has been in. Um, so from the low here, yeah, we've seen an impulse to the upside, a corrective move down, and we can largely count five waves to the upside, yeah, various impulses on various time frames and um, degrees. So this is looking promising for now. Um, bear in mind, primarily, we still have to assume that we come down lower until we pass some of these levels. But for now, we are waiting for certain for a lot of wave threes to finish. So we had here one, two, the end we are in wave three in yellow. Um, within wave three, we have the one, two and the wave three in red. So this is about to finish here within the wave three in red, we have wave 
5 in green that we're waiting for. So wave 5 in green is going to finish off wave 3 in yellow. So this is what needs to play out. Yeah, we want to see that one more pump to the upside. At the same time, we want to avoid to go below 20.7k. That would be to go into the price region of wave 1. We want to avoid that. It would invalidate one of these impulses. So this is what we're looking at. As long as we stay above 20.7k, um, we can go higher and we would focus on higher here. Um, this could, as I see this, yeah, this is a wave 4. This wave 4 could develop as a triangle potentially. Um, a wave 4 oftentimes develops as a triangle and this up and down suggests that. So we could have had either here wave 4 already finished and we're in the 1, 2 and would then now move up in a 3 in the wave 5. Or this is just a larger triangle where you have maybe the A, the B, the C, the D, the e. let me just show you that. Where you would normally break out to the opposite side of the wave E, here an A, possibly B, C, D, E, where we would then break out of the triangle to the upside. That's possible, yeah. That would assume wave 4 will be finished somewhere here. We'll see, yeah. Um, but primarily I would expect here in the bullish scenario, at least what we want to see is a move above these levels. First evidence that wave 4 is finished is a move above here, the 22.1k uh, level, and then better would be 22.4, that can then take us to 23k. Um, also what I wanted to show you to make more of a case for the low being in are um, on the daily. Uh, let's go to the daily, zoom out a bit. Um, looking at uh, an indicator that I normally don't show, but it's the um, money flow index, which takes into consideration volume and price information. So here on the money flow index, we can see that um, it is moving quite strongly to the upside. We are already above 50. Um, and what is important is that we see actually a bullish divergence on the money flow index. So while actually the price here made a higher low, the money flow index made a lower low. Um, that is considered a bullish divergence. And then especially here, when you, we had probably here the, the lowest level registered, um, wow, I mean, for, for years, yeah. And if you move out of this lowest level registered, so hugely in the, in the oversold area, that strongly, and we move above the previous highs, I mean, that is a good sign. It means there is a lot of buying power, yeah. Um, so it will be interesting. Um, this is currently still pushing higher and it will be interesting if we can hold above 50. Um, certainly here we can make another case and that builds again, adds to the case that we are, um, yeah, that we might be in a little bit more than just a bear market, um, rally, or even if we are in a bear market rally, um, it is still a tradable rally that would be in line with my Twitter post from the, um, 18th of June. In addition here, we have a bullish crossover now coming on the ADX, so also a bullish signal. And if we take a look at the RSI, that will be important, yeah, where we actually had, where we can draw this trend line here. So probably more like that. That will be an interesting one. If we can break above that, level here now yeah. um, this is around we would need to get above 63 for that 64 uh, there's still a way to go first of all we would need to get above the 50 level where we had a bullish cross over here I think I mentioned it in the video back then on the daily that we had a bullish cross over here where the purple line moves above the yellow line that's the first bullish signal um, and since then we pumped up yeah, on the RSI the momentum indicator if we go above 50 would be another bullish indicator and then uh, you know, if we break above this trend line here, that would be the first line that we go above that since October 21, also a very, very bullish signal. Then you can also draw the trend line from here. Yeah, that might be a more short term signal. You can actually see that we broke above that already. Um, so that'll be interesting, interesting to see. Um, by the way, also the daily RSI produced a bullish divergence down here, which is another uh, positive indicator. Yeah, so this is currently all just building the case for potential upside. Um, if we continue like that, the next step here for the bulls, um, if we can get past all these resistance levels that I just mentioned, would be the um, 
would be, if I remember correctly, the 25k level. Let me just double check that. That's based on this wave one and this wave two. Yeah, obviously where we are now in the sub waves of the wave three. So yeah, here around 20, 25.3k. That is this wave degree here, one, two, three, would take us to around 25k. So that's the bullish case. Uh, we also have a bearish case that we need to follow at the moment. And that actually is still my primary expectation. Nevertheless, it is highly interesting that bullish case and we want to follow it to understand, first of all, when is the bullish one invalidated? Then the bearish one gets again even more likely. And um, what is there on the bearish side that we can see that, uh, yeah, that is still giving us um, reason to consider the, the bearish one. So from the bearish case, um, we need to be aware that we're not out of the woods yet. Yeah, we're doing nothing that would be unusual for um, this wave four. So for now, what we can do, two things here. We can calculate, first of all, the retracement levels for the wave four. You can see that we've only just now, we have not even hit the 38.2% FIB level retracement. That would be an ideal level 23K. That's one thing. That even if we reach the 50% FIP retracement at 24.6K, that is sort of what you would as a maximum expect for a wave four to retrace to. So all of that is still, what we're doing here is still within the scope of what a wave four does or can do. Um, also, we have this WXY pattern, a little bit more of a complex correction here, I showed you that in the previous video, target for the wave Y, we can use the length of the wave W projected out first target for the wave Y um, was 23K. Yeah, we haven't reached that yet. Second target would be the 1.618 extension at 25.7K. So here you can see, I don't think we'll reach the 1.618, not in the bearish scenario, because it would be more than the 50% retracement for the wave four, that sort of the higher level retracement target. Um, it would be quite a strong retracement for a wave four, unusually high, okay? so. 23k yeah, and therefore above the 23k level, I think the bearish scenario will get far less likely. Um, from here we would expand, we have not even broken out of this channel. That is important as well to consider. So we are still within the channel. Another channel breakout to the upside would also make this less likely, the bearish one. And I think we can consider that done above 23k. So again, this 23k level that I mentioned in the bullish scenario is highly relevant. And from here we can then expect a five wave uh, decline unfold to the downside. Best evidence for that would probably be the break below the wave X low at 18 and a half K. But also um, always worth watching on the bullish case, these key support levels that I just mentioned here, um, especially here the 20.7 K where already the bullish scenario will get less likely. Yeah, So we've got these key levels here that if they are taken out, um, the bullish one will just get less likely here 20.7 K here that swing low 19.2k yeah, or 19.3k and then here the 19 and a half k level and uh, yeah here we need to be on high alert that we could get a reversal you yeah. um if we see a strong reversal it would be a strong indicator that this bearish one is working out because you would not necessarily now expect a strong reversal in the bullish scenario we're waiting for here those bullish ones to work out those wave threes, yeah, three and fours we are waiting for now, and they should not retrace that much. So it will be interesting to see. Um, I'm gonna keep you updated as always, yeah. If you really like the update, um, here, check out the channel membership, absolutely, yeah. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, please. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter, please. Um, these spaces still have room to grow, and there's lots of additional content coming out there every, every day or every couple of days. And uh, yeah, if you really like the content, maybe also check out the channel membership or the trading course that I'm offering on morecryptoonline.com. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.